Chairman, uh, Secretary Mayorkas, I think you're familiar with my chart. I started developing this as chairman of this committee. Dates back quite a few years now. It's changed over the years. Uh, it used to be titled Southwest Border in uh, Apprehensions. Uh, that's back in the good old days uh, when we actually apprehended, detained, and oftentimes deported. Uh, for some reason, well, I know the reason, that under your administration, you've changed it now to encounters. So now uh, it's titled Southwest Border Encounters because now we encounter, we process, and disperse, and it seems like your solution to the self-inflicted wound to America is we've just gotten more efficient at processing. Uh, I can't quite honestly think of a greater threat to America than it was what is represented by this chart. And this chart represents this administration's open border policy. It's a travesty. Um, Director Ray, you, you said in your testimony uh, the threats uh, they're not getting any easier to deal with. Uh, would having a secure border, would that make your job easier? Well, I, I, will, I will let Secretary America speak for border security, but I will tell you that the threats that we have to contend with that are attributed to the border, uh, cartel violence, so, distribution yeah, of fentanyl, I, I, et cetera, I have are major The answer challenge. is yes. Y your job would be a whole lot easier if you're going to have to deal with over 70,000 special interest aliens coming from countries that are of concern to us, your job would be a whole lot easier if, if this year we hadn't encountered, actually encountered 169 people on the terror watch list. Secretary Mayorkas, I've asked you this in the past. What numbers are represented here? How many people has this administration let in by encountering processing, dispersing, or that have come in as a known uh, or, or unknown Godaway? What, what, approximately. I don't need an exact number. So what do we got? Senator, let me, let me, uh, let me I, say. I, I need numbers. I, again, don't filibuster me. How many people has this administration led into the country? Let, let me say at the outset that uh, our job would be a lot easier if the broken immigration system was uh, no, fixed. Just, uh, Mr. Secretary, I want a, a number. How many people have you led into this country? I, I should also How, uh, Okay, let, I'll, I'll give you the number. It's about 6 million. About 1.7 million as known gotaways. Now, again, we don't know who these people are. We just know that they've come to this country and they're residing somewhere. Where are all these people residing? Where, where, where did the 6 million people go? Senator, you speak of encounters, and let me, um, no, let me share with you. Would you answer my questions? Where did these 6 million people go? Are you keeping track of them? To what extent do we have a handle on where these six million people Senator, are in America? Senator, as you well know, when an individual is indeed released, they are released into immigration enforcement proceedings and are subject to removal if they do not have a legal basis to remain in the United States. You're and not answering fact, the question. Where, 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 are the, where do these people reside? We know we've got about 100,000 in New York. And New York Mayor Adams says it will destroy New York. That's, by the way, less than 2% of the 6 million people. So less than 2%, 100,000 is going to destroy New York. What's happening around the country? I'm, I'm not going to get answers from Secretary uh, Mayorkas. So, Director Ray, what are you doing to track these people and investigate the potential threat? So we are tackling it through a variety of means. The, there are some categories I would put kind of in the terrorist watch list category, and there it's our joint terrorism task forces that are working with partners uh, throughout the law enforcement community to try to identify. So how, 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 many agents, how many agents do you have tasked to investigate potential terror threats coming into this country and those 6 million people, and particularly the 1.7 million gotaways? How, how many agents are on investigating that flow of illegal immigrants? Well, I, I don't know that I can give you the exact number, give, but let me try to... Ball, ball let me, park. Let ball me try park. it this is way. It, we, is, we, is it 100? Is it a couple hundred? Is it, I mean, just a ballpark. Well, I would say we have several hundred agents who are tackling the threats that come from the border, both from a national security side, a counterterrorism side, and from an organized crime or violent crime side. So how does that compare to the number of agents you had on, for example, in investigating the January 6th? protesters. How, how many agents, at the height of that investigation, how many FBI agents were assigned to that task well, force? I, 
I don't have exact numbers, but what I would tell you is that yeah, I, a, a I, feel, ballpark, a ballpark. I feel relatively confident that the number of agents working on threats that are attributable to the border far exceeds the number of people working on the January 6th investigation. What about the height of the January 6th investigations? Same answer. Same deal, okay. Um, Mr. Sec Secretary Mayorkas, what is the average or the range of trafficking fees? I mean, because, by the way, we have a 100% secure border on the Mexican side, right? I mean, very few people are crossing into this country without going through human traffickers. So they have to pay a trafficking fee. What, what is that range of trafficking fees? When you speak of a trafficking center, you mean the smugglers? The, no, I'm talking about the human traffickers. That, you know, the people, the people coming across here are paying, what, a $7,000 fee, a $10,000, a fifty. What, what is that range? Several thousand dollars so, per so person. So how, how, do they, how do they pay that off? How, how, does a, how does a young woman pay off ten to $15,000 human trafficking fee? Tragically, uh, Senator, uh, they often spend their entire life savings uh, to pay a small Well, they also tragically get put into the human sex trade, correct? Uh, there are Sec all sorts. Director Ray, are, are you investigating that? Are we busting up some of the, you know, we saw The Sound of Freedom, that, that movie. Uh, what investigations are you doing in terms of the sex trade that is going on because of the Biden administration's open border policy? Uh, we have a, a number of task forces that are focused on human trafficking, especially sex trafficking, uh, all across the country. Um, and last year, we rounded up, I think, maybe a thousand or so predators of that sort. Um, and so that's probably the main vehicle through which we're tackling this, which is a significant, significant problem. Of, of the 73,000 special interest aliens coming from these countries that are concerned ours, how many, how many of those people are you keeping track of? But what happens to them? Are we detaining them? Are we deporting them? Or are we granting them asylum? Well, as to deportation and asylum, I would, I would leave that to the agencies that but handle you're, that. You're but aware of the 73,000 special interest aliens, correct? But I, I'm aware of special interest aliens. I don't what have the numbers. What are you doing numbers. to track them? Uh, so if we have a fully predicated, appropriately predicated investigation, uh, then those people are squarely within scope of those investigations. So how, how many active investigations do you have on 73,000 special interest aliens? I don't, I don't have that number here. I can see if that's something we can get for you and follow up. You can expect a, a QFER on that one. Thanks.